When I asked you the question, are we alone in the universe, what did you understand by the word we? Uh, I think of we as um, all of life. And so here I'm thinking from the smallest microbe through to the, the largest um, so not animal. To, not so what would that be, a whale? Our biosphere. Life forms. Living systems. Standard carbon-based human beings. Life forms in general. We the life forms. We as in the human race. Sentient beings. Life in general. Humanity. An intelligent form of life. Intelligent human-like beings. All the people here on Earth. All the living beings, I would say. Humanity. The people. Does we include bacteria? Probably. We humans on Earth. Human species, and in my definition, human species is, is tightly tied to the Earth. The gut instinct is we humans, but I would think that if we want to be correct about it, it's probably we, the world. So we, I take uh, as a human, and as human, I'm a form of life that's complex. So when you say we are alone, I mean one of two things. Is there life out there? And then I ask the next question, is there some form of intelligent life out there? Us as a planet and our stuff inside the planet. All the stuff in the box, so all the living things inside the planet. Yes. Not the dead things. Those two. Those two, okay. What does we mean for you? Are we alone? It means, is our planet Earth alone? It doesn't mean we humans as intelligent beings. It just means any life form at all. Uh, meant life. Life. Yes. Any kind of life. Any kind. Both humanity and all the life forms on Earth, given we're all one family. The biosphere. The biosphere. Yeah. And when I asked you the question, are we alone, what did you understand by the word we? So I took that to mean life. Now obviously there's a whole spectrum of possibilities here from uh, life per se, which could be very simple or relatively simple, because actually I don't think any life is simple, uh, relatively simple microorganisms through to much more complicated multicellular animals to intelligent species and civilizations and technological civilizations. There's a whole spectrum there, but the truth is we don't know whether any of that exists currently, um, and so it's astrobiology's job to try and find out.